can really feel that Jennifer's just like, she's feeling every single word that she's saying. Kia ora and welcome, my name's Zoe Stevi and I'm a vocal coach with over 18 years. That sounds like 80, doesn't it? I need to work on my articulation. But that's actually one of the lessons that you will get if you would like to sing with more stability and confidence and with better articulation then check out the link in the description below because my online singing school, The Vocal Academy, is accepting new students. In today's analysis, we're gonna be taking a look at Jennifer Hudson. I'm moderately nervous about this. I literally have 15 minutes before my next student arrives. Let's see what she's up to with her vocal technique. I'm not even sure where we should begin. We're going to go and have another look at that. She's starting in this really lovely head voice sound. Oh, there's so many different voice qualities going on in here. So we've got that I love you and she's adding in that little bit of that, the kind of the weight in the sound and the ee, we're going into a head voice sound with a little bit of tightening in that twang because it's going to help us to go further up in the range without any air in the sound. Don't let me can really feel that Jennifer's just like, she's feeling every single word that she's saying, don't let them, that lowering of the larynx, darkening of the tone is kind of being like, I'm putting my foot down in this moment, don't let them. Can you hear? She, went, oh, no. she added in that little bit of breath. Super important when we're going really like that low in the range that we introduce this that little bit of breath because it adds in the warmth and it helps us to go even lower in the range. So oh, there's just so much going on. She's really using these different mouth shapes in order to color the sound because that's ultimately what we want to do. We want to create lots and lots of color within the sound and not just sing everything with one open mouth position because we don't just sing on the vowels. We sing through the consonants as well. And that's what gives us our emotion. Oh, let's just watch that again. You can keep me. So we've got to keep me um, So she's like that me she's she's holding on to the, that to that tension. Um, it's like this cry, releasing the tongue forward in the mouth. Really great coloring technique with that tongue. Me coloring technique, like with Christina Aguilera, for example, that's what she does. And then we're also, you know, we're holding on to that tension emotionally as well. Coming back to call me, he's gonna handle me and hold me so. 
She's, I mean, we know Jennifer has, like, she's the most amazing singer. And she's got this huge range, but she's really holding her back. She's in that chest voice register, very, very thin vocal for. We need lots of cry when we're doing that. That's why she's so close to the microphone. And we've got that lovely lowering of the larynx kind of happening every now and again. Now, I don't notice her breathing. Huh, not really. Because we don't really need to focus on it with these really short phrases. Let's just watch that again. Oh. Someday I know he's coming back to call me. He's gonna handle me and me so. He's gonna be like that in Porky. This is just like, oh, it made me quite tired watching it because it's just so intense and so beautiful. There's lots and lots and lots and lots, lots of different things happening in here. So we'll just go back on that because she went into the, she kind of went into a really typical um, Jennifer Hudson sound. So I am not a gospel expert and I am not a gospel, I don't teach gospel. Um, I do sing it every now and again, but I do really love gospel music. So I'm not gonna, unfortunately, be able to talk really really specifically about the comparisons to other gospel singers but we do I do know Jennifer Hudson's voice and she has this she has this tendency to go to quite a wobbly vibrato on some notes and push the volume which is absolutely okay in the gospel style of music but when comes, I so when he comes that kind of quite wide vibrato you can see there's also that vibrato or the vibrato is really when the larynx moves up and down due to a sympathetic vibration from the actual vocal fold undulation and so that it's moving so much that it's actually causing her jaw to move in that situation um, but you can hear then she ropes it back in again for the next line And then you can see she doesn't actually, no, I have to go. And she goes to actually quite a, like a, a small vibrato then at the end. It's not quite as wide as we heard before, but she's allowing the vocal folds to thin. Ooh, I don't know what the notes are yet. She's, she's allowing them to thin as she's going up there. And she's kind of like sitting on that, I know I have to go quite a heavy belt. And then she's, you have to thin if you're going to, end up having more mobility than where she's going higher. Wow, wow. This is also such a massive song to sing. Um, and obviously there's a lot of tension um, when you are covering someone in a song, especially so famous to pay tribute to her. But we've got this thick vocal fold sound and she's kind of, it's very, I mean, this is like really high, high, high technical stuff. And we're, we're talking about this, this, this kind of dance between thick and thin vocal fold. Let's just watch that again. And she's using these pauses to really say, you know, like, it's a statement every single time. And she's really thinking about it every single, like before every sentence. Shoot me. 
We've got way going into a thinner vocal fold sound. They're just taking all of the air out of the sound. And it's just learning with the so far, adding in that lowering of the larynx. Again, this is adding in that drama, but also adding in that sort of that persistence that we're wanting in the story that we're telling. Ooh, but I know. I'll think of you every step of the way. Okay, so there was a slightly strange vowel choice because she went, and she really, really snuck it back in the throat. It might be because this is, she's trying to do, you know, obviously her version of singing the way that Whitney Houston used to sing it, but that, and we've got thinner vocal fold sound, but it must be so hard with that back vowel to be able to hold onto that vocal fold position. Let's just watch that again. So we've got I love you. It's got that little shimmer. So beautiful. We've got that little shimmer of the vibrato coming in there. And when we get a really good balance of the breath flow against the vocal fold, that's when the vibrato comes in. We're not trying to like force the vibrato at all. But she's oh, just so... There are moments in singing where we are either singing out to the people and we're calling out to them or we are asking the audience to come in. And in that moment when you're singing so quietly, so personally, you're asking the audience to come to you. It's just such a beautiful moment. Before she does that, no, I, I like, you can see in her face, she knows that she's going to do it. So she added in a little bit of weight there with the lowering of the larynx, the thickening of the vocal folds. Now we know Jennifer has this most amazing, like big, big voice that she's in there. She's, she's really holding it back. And this is where the excitement comes when we're holding back the voice and we're not going right to the ends of our ability because then the audience is just like, oh, 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 I want it. We, we can feel that in you that you're holding it back. And when she went up to the, and I wish you joy, wish you the joy. And obviously that's a little bit of vowel modification going on. It's going to help you with the j to go joy rather than joy and keep that small mouth position because the joy will make things quite squeezed here at the back of the throat. Everyone goes really crazy. Like, you! I mean, to be honest, for a professional singer, that's not particularly difficult. You go, love you. 
actually it's quite kind of like freeing because you're like, oh, thank God I get off that belt. <laughs> so when we go into this, and I, we've got this very sort of like, we call it parking and barking and singing. I know it sounds like semi-derogatory, but it's not really. We are sitting into a full belt sound. And this is what we would call a yell belt. We've got this uh kind of sound straight tone and she's just going to the ends of the phrases and adding in a little bit of that vibrato i'm too excited i'm like <laughs> tripping over my words so we're going to the just the, to the vibrato just the very very end and that is coloring the sound rather than going and, I, I, and using the vibrato the whole time it would sound like really bizarre but i love that you know this is paying tribute to whitney but she really is in terms of her vocal style let's just watch that again watch the breath Again, you can see, Hi! and she's doing this breathing up here, totally normal for a belt sound. We're wanting to breathe high in the chest to increase the subglottic pressure, so the, the pressure underneath the vocal cords. It just helps us to keep this thicker vocal cord sound. This is a dark belt, right? So we, we know that from singing Whitney Houston, it's a tough sing. We're talking about stamina when it comes to being able to sing for this length of time at this level and it, like with this weight in the sound. <laughs> Wow, oh, and that's just so beautiful at the end there. The love you. And she went into this lovely head voice sound there. So let's go back and have another look at that end because she's doing, I mean, look, Jennifer Hudson's the most amazing singer. I'm not, I don't need to say it again, but she's highly, highly, highly trained and she's been doing this for a very long time. So this is what I would expect of a singer of this level. She is going between, you know, very finesse through these thicker to thinner vocal folds. We're getting a lot of color changes going on. We've got the, you. Once you're in that sound, it's kind of like you're in the slipstream of the sound. It's kind of, it's easy to stay up there. But we've got this, you know, it's, it's a, it's again, it's a head voice sound. When we keep the mouth a little bit more closed, which is what she did, it's easy for us to stay in that head voice sound. But that was absolutely fantastic. Oh my goodness me. I'm so, so super excited to have a look at other AMA performances because it was a really, really special evening. If you've enjoyed this video, then hit that subscribe button. I'd love to see you around here more often to geek out about vocal technique. About 90% of the people that watch these videos aren't actually subscribed, so it would really help me. I teach singing full time. And if you're interested in having singing lessons with me and learning to improve your vocal technique, check out the link in the description below for the Vocal Academy. You can check out some more Jennifer up here. She's an incredible singer. Just remember, anyone can learn to sing. Honestly, I truly believe I can teach anybody to sing. You just have to have the tools, and that's what I'm here for, to teach you how to sing with those specific before. I've got no idea what I'm saying. Check out more Jennifer up here anyway, and I'll see you around next time. Happy singing. Take care, everyone.